Hey guys, and welcome to Diving Down Under. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the Scallop Drift Dive. Now, the maximum depth of this dive is 15 meters, so a minimum qualification of an open water scuba diver is needed. Now, this is only accessible by boat, and the boat we've used in this episode is Chimney Rock Dive Charters. There is a link in the description to their website for booking any dives. Now, if you're not sure where all the boats depart in Portsea, check out my other video. It's a guide to Portsea. I do go through car parking, boat departures, and things like the toilets and showers that are around. So I haven't given this video a star rating simply because it would get five stars throughout. It's it's just great. It's a great dive. Now I just want to talk a bit about the navigation of this dive before we descend too far. It is a drift dive. So that means the current is going to push you along and you can just let it take you. Like this, the boat will also carry on with the current and follow your bubbles, and when you will come up, the boat will not be far away. Also remember, it is state law in Victoria that you have to carry a marker boy, a surface marker boy on you. Um, delayed one's fine. Um, just This is just because the dive boat can then find you and any other boats in the vicinity don't run you over. So very, very important piece of kit. Uh, I also carry a dive knife, which is great on every single dive. For things like this, just testing this little uh, spider crabs alive, which he is. Let's give him a bit of a prod. Because if you touch me with your finger and he grabs you, you know, then you've got a spider crab on the end of your finger. A problem you don't really want. Now, as for visibility, this can vary from, well, anything from 8 meters really is about normal. But it can get as low as 3, and it can get as high as 15. So it's a good dive um, if the conditions are right. Now if we go a little bit closer we can see some scallops just to give you an idea of what they look like. Here they are in red just hiding in the sand. So you've got to look pretty hard. Now I'm going to use my knife to get the one below me out simply because I don't want anything to come and grab me. So if you put your fingers underneath and say there's something hiding under there you really don't want it to sting you or, or bite you. So this is what a scallop looks like. It's pretty much the same thing as what you see on the Shell Servos logo. Now as a rough, uh, rough guide, if they're big enough to take, is if it's bigger than the palm of your hand, yeah, as long as you've got you know, reasonable sized hands rather than really small ones, then it's big enough to take. Uh, that one's sort of on the borderline, but uh, I'll leave you to make that decision for yourself. Now, with this guy here, it's pretty harmless enough, unless you really, really upset him, he's not going to hurt you. Now, even if you get this sort of little bit of a glitch where he starts coming for you, all he's done is he's seen his reflection in the camera, and he's like, whoa, what on earth is that in that camera? I'm going and checking it out. And as you can see, he just goes underneath me, and oh, it's, it's only a camera. And stop, there we go, done, finished. And there's my buddy there just stirring up all the silt for me. Great success. So really, 99% of your life on this dive is on the sea floor. Now there's another scallop right there, I'll just go and grab him. Now if you don't have a knife, or you don't use a knife, make sure you've got gloves on. Again, if you've got gloves on, things tend not to bite through the glove very easily. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much a shell logo. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. So as you can see, I'm not really using anything for my navigation, I'm not even using a compass. I'm just letting the current just take me along. And I'm zigzagging around a little bit just to see, you know, what is where. But in the end, navigation is really, really easy on this dive. Now again, you need to keep your eye focused on what is hiding between the the, uh, the weeds. There's a little uh, little fish there just sitting, a little rayfish sitting there quite happily. No, he's not bothering in the slightest. He's just quite happily sat there. Avoiding me. Ah, oh, with these things as well, you can actually catch these very, very easily. Um, during the day, they actually sleep like that, and you've got about a two second gap where you can physically put the net down quickly and push it into the net and seal the net. It doesn't give you long, but you can do it. Now, I just want to show you something with this here. As you can see him, he's just pretty much lying in the sand there, waiting for somebody to just kneel on him by accident. Very hard to spot. So it's a very, very good dive to make sure that your buoyancy is pretty good. You don't want to be dragging it along the floor, and you obviously don't want to be too high. Your buoyancy wants to be just hovering, so you don't upset any of the marine animals. 
So guys, even if you don't like scallop fishing, this is still a really good dive just for the sheer marine life there. Oh, this guy's going to get scared because I'm going in front of him. There, he's gone. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, they're pretty majestic animals, the way they just swim. It is pretty beautiful. And I think not, yeah, this guy here, he gets a little bit intimidated of me. There he goes. You'll, figure, you'll find as well that if you're behind something, it's more comfortable for it because it knows it can just get away. If you're in front of something, it gets a bit more intimidated because a lot of things can't swim backwards. So it can't get away as easy and it can get more aggressive. If it approaches you, that's fine. Just be very wary about the wildlife. Don't get in the way and you should be fine. Now, just before I go, there is something I want to share with you guys. As I was doing my five meter stop, there were two divers that just came underneath me. And doesn't that just look majestic? Now, this is the point as well where I um, deployed my SMB. And then the boat pretty much can come and find me. So just remember the golden rule of scuba diving. Ascend slowly and never hold your breath. Well, that's all I've got for this dive, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and subscribe below. I add videos as and when I can. Thanks for watching. See you later.